All right, welcome back boys and girls. This is gonna be Tinkercad lesson five. And at the end of this lesson, there's also gonna be your next challenge. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about changing the work plane to build upon existing shapes. And then we're gonna learn about a transparency tool that can help you when you're making holes. So I'm working on this cup right now. And what I just did was I dragged in this shape to make my handle and I'm inserting it into the cup. Then I'm going to group this, click group or control and the letter G, and it will group it into my cup. Now, I want to add on to this cup by spelling a word across the front of it. To do that, I could click on a letter over here and then click on my work plane and it'll bring that first letter over. But then I would have to rotate it and flip it and then drag it up and figure out how to get it onto the front of my cup. And that would take a lot of time. I'm gonna delete that. An easier way to do that would be to change your work plane. So this blue platform right here is usually our work plane. So whenever I click on a letter or a shape over here, it will automatically put it over here onto this work plane. But if I wanna change that, one way to change my work plane is to go up here in this area and click on work plane. And then when I go over my object, you'll see that it gives me a little square as to where I want my work plane to now be. It could be on the top, it could be on my handle. It can be pretty much on any side of this cup. Now I want my word to start right here. So I'm gonna click right here. And now you'll see that a orangish work plane appears. So that's a temporary work plane. It's just gonna be there while I'm working on this side of my cup. So when I come over here and click on the S and then I come back over here, it automatically puts it on my cup instead of putting it on that original blue platform. So you'll see as I move around that it is on the surface of my cup. It makes it much faster to start to build on the shapes you have. Now, when I'm done with that work plane, I can click work plane and click off of it. And now I wanna go back to my original. So I click back on where my blue one was. And now I'm back on this work plane. And you'll see that that letter S is there. I can still work with this letter. I can make it larger, but it's still there on the surface without having to do anything to it. So let's say I wanna add my next letter. Instead of going to this work plane, another way to do that is just simply click on the letter W on your keyboard. And then you'll hover over wherever you want. You continue to hold the letter W and then you hover wherever you want your next um, letter or object to go. So I want it to go right here on this part of the cup. And now my work plane is there. I'm gonna spell steam across my cup. I click on a T and it will bring it right to this work plane. I can make it taller, just like I did the last one. And when I'm done with this work plane, I want it to go away. I'll click on the W again. I hold it down, continue holding, and I move my mouse and click where I want my next work plane to be. So I want to be back on that original work plane. You'll see that those letters are right on top of that surface. Changing the work plane is a really helpful tool that we need to master in order to be successful in building future projects. So to finish this project, I would just add steam, uh, the letters E, A, and M across my cup. But for the purpose of this video, I now want to move to transparency. So I right now don't necessarily have a true cup. I have the outside of a cup, but there is no hole where I could put water or hot chocolate into it. So I'm gonna to need to create a hole. I am going to duplicate this shape. And now I have the cylinder that I originally started with. I'm going to try and make it smaller. And then I wanna put it inside of the cup to make a hole so I can pour something into my cup. Now, the hard thing with this is I don't know how deep that hole really is right now because if I make it too deep, there's not gonna be a bottom layer that could hold the liquid in my cup. So what I can do is 
I'm going to take this cup, I'm gonna click on it. And over here right now where it's the yellow color, if I click on that, I can come down here and I can click on transparent and it'll show me what the inside of the cup looks like. When I click away from that, I can then drag in this shape that I later want to be a hole. So I'm gonna drag it in there. And now I see that there is no bottom to my cup. So what I'm gonna to want to do is come back and I'm gonna to wanna to lift where my hole is gonna be and I'm gonna to wanna to lift it up so that there will be a bottom layer to my cup. And now I can see that that's there. So the transparency really helps, especially when making holes. So I want to make this cylinder a hole now. And now I'm going to click with my left click, drag over the entire thing. I'm going to group it back together. So now that it's grouped, I want to see the cup as it's going to be. I'm gonna unclick transparent and it's going to bring it back. And I have my cup. Your challenge or your assignment to show me that you have completed lesson four and five is going to be to design a cup that could hold hot cocoa. To design your cup, it's going to show me that you know how to make holes that you can group objects together, that you can change work planes, and that you have used the transparency tool to help finalize your cup and make sure that your cup will have a bottom in it, even though you've used a hole. So here are just some examples of other people's cups that have been made. You see this one is more rounded than my cup. This one has an extra top to it. This one is not necessarily um, a perfect cylinder. This cup is even more of a square shape. This cup has bunny ears, so you can really get creative with your cup. All right, so once you have finished your cup, a couple reminders when turning in your assignment. Make sure that you have named your project after what the challenge is. So this is the cup challenge. The other thing is make sure that you share it. So you click this plus button over here, generate new link, this link will let me see your project, copy it, and then you'll be able to paste it into our Google Classroom when you go to turn in the assignment. All right, good luck on your second challenge.